All right, we're getting ready to charge this system. We're gonna put liquid refrigerant in the high side without the engine starting because you would never start the engine with a can hooked up with liquid refrigerant. Uh, unless you wanna lose an eye or something. Uh, okay, so here we go. We're down to 130 roughly almost microns. We got the low side off. We're gonna close off the vacuum. You can see the vacuum is open. The liquid refrigerant is off. The high side is open. We're in the liquid position. We got the Bluetooth field piece scale hooked up, SR74. We have the uh, field piece SM480V hooked up. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my iPad with me. My son's using it on a rooftop on a commercial system right now. And my battery died in the little Samsung I had with me. We put an eye log on all the seals and everything like that. Uh, under our nitrogen pressure decay test in the previous video, we used a micron uh, micro leak detector on the fittings where they put together the new condenser and the new hose going on to the compressor to make sure there was no leaks under pressure prior to finish vacuuming and charging up. So now we're gonna zero this out, let's zero. And we want 375 grams, which is just a hair over 13 ounces for you guys who use ounces it's 13.2 ounces and i think a smidgen more so we're closed here let's close off the vacuum and i bumped the scale let's zero it out again got to watch your feet when you're around your scale bumping it and moving stuff around otherwise you throw it off so we want 375 grams so let's be grab to open up right here. We're gonna look like right there. 375 grams. Go. So we're waiting for 375. How long does it take to put 375 grams in the system? And let me shut it off right there. And 360. Boom. I'm gonna stop right there because this is a crucially charged system. Micro channel condenser, micro channel evaporator, and only 375 grams you do not want to be off by 30 grams or 50 grams that's a large amount of refrigerant in this tiny tiny system that's it it's done how long did that take to charge up that's all any vehicle takes especially when with they're this small that's how long it takes to fill them up let's start it up we'll look at some superheat some subcooling we'll look at um our dash temperature and we'll go from there next video I got to put down the phone and do everything. See you guys.